If the entire 20th century could fit into a single word, change would be it. It happened in science, politics, arts, communications, and of course, in the subject that feeds from all of them, advertising. It was 1900, or more precisely 1906, when Paris saw the birth of a boy who would make some of the biggest changes in advertising history. Ninth child of a humble Jewish family from Russia, Marcel Bluestein had to leave school at the age of 12 to help his father sell furniture. At 19, he noticed his talent for sales could turn tables instead of just selling them. So in 1926, he starts France's first ad agency, Publicis, a name that comes from the French words publicité plus his lucky number, six, and with a symbol inspired by his zodiac sign, Leo. Marcel realized that customers wanted entertainment rather than lying ads. No doubt he was a man of vision, but it was actually his ears that advised him to purchase a radio station. There, he created the first sponsored radio programs of France, the first jingles, and even introduced the world to the magnificent voice of Edith Piaf. And then comes the war and changes it all. His businesses are confiscated by the Nazis. To escape them, he wisely adopts the code name Blanche and joins the French resistance as a co-pilot of the Allies. When the war is over, Mr. Bluestein Blanche, now his official name, changes the airplane controls for the phone and starts calling the clients himself. He now fights for the credibility of the advertising business. It's him who introduces France's first opinion polls and its first TV commercial. Bold as always, he moves the agency to one of Paris's best addresses at l'Avenue Champs-Élysées, in front of the Arc de Triomphe, and turns its lobby into Le Drug Store, a revolutionary concept for the time, featuring in one single place a bookshop, a restaurant, a cinema, pharmacy, and of course, cool Parisian people. And so a fire comes and turns dreams into ashes. Fortunately, Marcel's projects were made of ideas, not bricks. Publicis is rebuilt from scratch becoming the only building in Champs-Élysées with modern architecture. And suddenly, Paris gets too small for his dreams. From agency, Publicis becomes network and holding, a global communications group spread over 100 countries. That humble little boy is awarded Knight of the Legion of Honours, the highest decoration in France. He was also the first non-American to be named the Advertising Hall of Fame. Marcel Bluestein Blanchet changed advertising, communications, businesses, culture, he changed his own name. And if you are here today, my friend, it seems that just like him, you also love change. Welcome to Publicis. Love the change. Lead the change.